Okay, look, listen, look. Before you say, Trevor, you have a problem. Like, I'm gonna show you why this was a good auction purchase, right? Win, I guess you would say win, but you still gotta pay for it. I'm gonna explain it to you right now. So don't think I'm, I'm nuts and I have an addiction to auctions, because I don't, all right? I just, sometimes you th see things that are good, right? I'm Trevor Bales, welcome to the Bales Hay Farm and Ranch YouTube channel. Let's go look up some projects. Okay, every bale of hay that comes into our place rolls across the scale. Boom, that's the scale. You're probably wondering, what, Trevor, why does it have those metal walls on it? I'll tell you why. My grandpa used to run cattle on here, 100 head, 50 head, 20 head, whatever. They would put the cattle on here, then they would weigh them, and they would divide by the number of cattle. That's how they would get the average weight of the cow. By leaving these sides on, they would just shut a gate at that end and shut a gate at this end. Boom, cows don't go anywhere. I had to cut this part out right here because the semis drive across here, they couldn't open the doors. That thing says I weigh 220. I'm not fat, you're fat. We don't weigh cattle on here anymore. If I do weigh cattle, they're on a trailer. So I really don't need these sides I leave them on, they're actually kind of handy for the truck. You line your mirrors up. If your mirror's clear on both sides, you're good at the bottom. But what I'm showing you is our scale system. That's what that, that is. Sometimes we just drive across and we can write down. We can write down the weight. If it's not a semi-load, it's just one stack and we're weighing stuff for cattle or whatnot. But here is the actual scale system. It's covered by this to keep the sun off it. And it's literally a toolbox. outside in the dust and the heat just hit that button put the ticket in there boom it prints so i found at the auction a eight by eight shipping container looks like a little mini shipping container with a window and a door on it what i think i'm going to do is spray foam insulate it throw an ac unit on it it'll stay cool it'll keep the dust well, it'll keep more dust off our printing system and hopefully make it not act up as often. It's always having problems. Quits printing, doesn't print. Anyways, so I, that, so that's all, look, I'm telling you, I don't have a problem. I think we could use this little container. Always trying to make it better for the trucks, right? right? The trucks drive through here literally every single day. I'll show you our old scale, scale real quick. Check out this antique. This is how my great grandpa and probably great uh, my my grandpa prop Steve probably used this too, but um, I would like to take this apart and put it in my uh, in my office one day as like a decoration. I don't know. Okay, so next I go pick up, go hook up to a trailer, go find some straps, probably in semis, and we go pick up the old or the new uh, scale house. We've actually had several projects going on. But I get so busy with either a truck or the squeeze or I guess mostly those two things, uh, keeping the sail barn full of hay. I'm not able to document this stuff. I'm sorry. We had to do a bunch of welding on this and another squeeze clamp. Ron's been working on where the new shop is. Well, the trucking side of the shop is going to go. I haven't been able to document any of that. Sorry. So do my best it is a little weird that when i called the auction place they knew me by name maybe i do have a problem uh i just had to, i had to document this look look first try that camera doesn't even do anything you're like oh but you've got a backup camera yeah that blocks it first try that's what I'm talking about. Man, it's good to be a winner, Dad. <laughs> Sweet, made it to the yard. The traffic was terrible. I, I hate the city. Ugh. Check it, check it out. <laughs> so you've got your two doors. It's, it's quite a bit shorter than a real shipping container. I figured it was the same height, but that's all right. I'm not too concerned. We got a sliding door, bars, 
and a man door. So I'll put a table right here, put all the, uh, the printer on here. I might even spray foam. Spray foam the inside of this because it's still gonna get hot, right? Or I'll either spray foam it or I'll still put a shade over the top of it so the sun is not directly on it. So, <laughs> yay. Whoa, there's a the forklift. Okay, he's ready. Come with a key. Such a good purchase. This guy looks like he knows what he's doing. Look how long those forks are. Heck yeah. Time to strap down. Then we're gonna go wander around. He was just telling me there's a lot of stuff that has, goes on the next auction that I might need. You never know. So I know there's several things you can do with the uh, tail and the strap. I buy Velcro strips. They're cheap, they're super cheap. If you lose one, it's like 50 cents, I don't know. Whoops. Awesome. But before we go, we're gonna take a measuring tape, measure some stairs. I made a deal. Ah, oh, crap. Where's my measuring tape? Ugh. I made a deal on a, a step deck. It's a piece of junk. It's no good to haul. I'm thinking about making a loading deck out of it. More of a tarping deck, I should say, for semis when they come in to tarp their hay. Well, the auction that ends next week, there's some, some stairs and handrails. So I'm gonna measure these stairs and handrails. There, there's the handrails. There's these stairs over here. But then those stairs, you actually bolt them together to see how, make them the height you want them. So if I bolt two of these together, about 10 foot. And I would say that step deck is already four foot off the ground. Minimum, that gets me 14 foot. The top of the truck is 14 feet. Man, I might need to, might try to buy those. What lot number are they? Ooh, that thing would be kind of handy. We use our forklift all the time to move trailers. That'd be handy. Okay, remember that? We've got a homemade, a homemade forklift man basket. It's a little sketchy. This one's pretty nice. Might bit on this and I got that new uh, Forney welder thanks Forney could fit right on that bad boy not too shabby and this I was thinking about buying and cutting those shelves out and then I could put I could put my gas my gas in them maybe I don't know I don't know we'll see then I'm gonna just roam around so that guy I was talking to the guy that loaded me, he's actually one of the owners. So I talked to him for quite a while. He's a super nice guy, his name's John. Here's a overhead crane for shot, but I don't feel like tackling that. Let's see what else we got. There's a insulated water or some sort of tank. Whole bunch of other. Oh, these are something for forklifts, aren't they? The forks go, I don't know. I don't know what, what those are. There's some super old wheels. Car stuff. Ooh, I could um, I could put my oxygen settling tanks on these and just build a brace around it. Whoa, that is the ultimate man basket for a forklift. Holy smokes, what in the world? This looks way out of my price range. Definitely going with that other one. Whoa, that thing is nice. Uh, I don't need those. I don't even know what those are for. 
That's for snow. We don't have snow. I don't even know what that stuff is. It's a big old neck. Oh, look at this safe. What could we do with this? Nothing. I don't want it. These are kind of handy. It's not working. There we go. Whoa! Man. I might bid on this. I don't know. Kind of cool to put in our new shop. I like it. Can I see anything else you think I might need? I don't. Nothing. You know, those jack stands are kind of cool, but those are more for pipe. I don't need a pipe jack stand. There's a bed. My bed's just fine. Hmm. Well. Oh, there's a cattle chute. I don't want that thing, though. Headache rack, random wood, and I'm not walking down there. Nothing, nothing looks good over there. Well, cool, seeing what I need to see. Time to go home and unload this new scale house. Unload this new scale house. All right, let's go. Sweet, the eagle has landed. Well, not really, the, tra the trailer's parked right here. Um, gotta get the forklift and the extended forks. Just measured it. It's a hundred foot, a hundred inches wide. We'll just use this as a, and then we'll subtract 15 inches. Okay. 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 Or, I mean, not subtract. We'll add. Well, I guess I could just do this. Like this. Put that there. So I need to add dirt. That's a hundred inches. I should probably add dirt several inches, several inches past that, so it doesn't slough off and fall into the abyss of the feedlot pins. Stack some wood. I'll do something. Well, sweet. My biggest concern was that we had space because um, I didn't exactly measure. I just bought this thing. And what I'm going to do is I'll leave this panel up. I might even make it go higher to block the to block the sun as it comes in from the west and cooks everything. And I'll still have my number board um, outside so we can still see what we're doing. I hope my forklift can, forklift can pick that thing up. If not, I gotta squeeze. Just pick it up from the I'm gonna squeeze it, pick it up. Back at the farm. Check out how well the Velcro did. Look at that. All right, I'm gonna take this off. I don't know what that weighs. Our forklift is a 6,000 pound forklift, so we either die or we don't. Um, let's don't tell OSHA. Let's see how this goes. Those forks aren't long enough, but Ron says it'll work. If you noticed, I bent that one. Sorry. See the bend I put in it? Oh, it's good. It makes it slide in easier. Picked up a truck with it. I'm gonna add in my own music. Dun da 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 dum dum da 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 dum dum da da da. I could be helping him. But he's so big and strong. The little forklift that could. Those are those don't even go halfway across it. OMG, OMG. Oh, the brake was on. <laughs> it's his first time driving a forklift. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna spray foam this bad boy, knock a hole in it, put a little AC unit in it. We brought Leonard just in case, but the forklift got it. All right, perfect.